and welcome to another beauty box unboxing. Today it's one of my subscription boxes. It is the Look Fantastic box for January 2023. So there are various plans with this one and the most flexible is the one month rolling subscription which is currently £17.50. There are other cheaper plans but those would mean that you are tied in for a certain amount of time. So I've already taken the products out of the box. Normally with Look Fantastic there is a like a leaf a booklet with it but this time they've gone a bit like glossy box and popped a qr code on a little card and that takes you to the online booklet gives you information on the products and there's some articles as well there's also a sneak peek for next time which is the new stick magnetic eye color eyeshadow pencil in shade do wop do wop which is worth 21 pounds 41 and it looks really nice so i'm quite excited about that one this month's box has the theme of fresh start and they say it the products will leave you feeling invigorated and hydrated which is certainly something that I am in desperate need of at the moment and they say the box is worth over £58 so let's get on and see what's inside. There are six items this time and I quite like the majority of them. The first one's by Molten Brown and it's the Body Wash Orange and Bergamot. This is 100ml worth £7 they say but you can get 300ml from the brand's website for £25 so that's quite a modest valuation I think there. And look fantastic say infused with vitamin rich orange oil, bergamot and neroli flower. This gel helps to leave skin nourished and radiant looking post rinse. Allow the senses to be transported to a civilian courtyard of orange trees as you lather. So if you've seen any of my other videos before you know I am a bit of a fan of orange and I'm also a fan of neroli so I was very excited to have this one. I mean I love the molten black brown body washes anyway the majority of them they all smell really nice and they stay on you the smell stays on you throughout the day which I'm going to have a test in a minute because I did use it this morning. So I'll have a little sniff. Yeah so when it's actually when you sniff it in the bottle the orange definitely comes out a lot um, but when you put it on it's it almost I think I found the neroli came through more so I happen to like that so that's okay the lather was amazing as it normally is with molten brown um, and this that's all I've used for one wash in there so there's still plenty plenty left so let's see if it does still smell faintly Faintly. It was a, a couple of hours ago and I have been wearing a long sleeved top so that does make a difference but I know that once I'd had the, the shower um, afterwards I could smell it and it was it was a lovely lovely fragrance. I really like that one and if you like orange neroli sort of things you'll love it too I guess. Right the next item is by This Works. Now I think this was the sneak peek from last time and it's the Morning Expert Hyaluronic Serum. It's 15 mils worth £18.50 so 30 mils has an RRP of £37 on the brand's website so that sounds about right in terms of valuation. I've, now the online, the description in the online look fantastic brochure seems to relate to the Morning Expert Open Eyes product so I don't know whether I'm reading that completely wrong or something but it just seems to relate to that so I got the information from the brand's website and they say a youth boosting serum to target morning skin concerns including dullness dehydration and fatigue it contains a powerful super blend of wheat based hyaluronic acid to plump and vitamin C to help firm, tighten, smooth and improve skin's appearance. And to use it, you massage onto the skin, on the face and neck each morning to maximise the plumping effect. So I have had this before and I do really like it. It's a really, really nice product to use. And I've used it this morning. First time was used this time, this time round, if you like, was this morning. So it did do a nice job. It's the only serum I think I've used this morning. So I did a double cleanse um, and then I used a toner I did a little bit of a spritz with a sort of rose water spray and then used this so that's the only serum I used because it did have the vitamin C in it anyway as well which is the other serum I'd normally use hyaluronic acid vitamin C morning serums um, that's what it looks like just basically 
nice blending serum. The thing I noticed this time, which I didn't remember from before, and I'm sure I know I've had this before, is that it smells quite minty. And I think when I looked on the website, that was one of the ingredients that, that it did mention something about peppermint. And it does have a, a minty smell, which is quite a nice, refreshing one for the morning, funnily enough. So, yeah, I like that. I'm happy, happy with that. And my skin feels great. Although I did use another product in here last night, which I think did a really good job too. And that actually is the next one on the list, which is by... Now, I think it's Lumine. Someone Last time I had a Lumine product, someone told me how to say it, you know, when you break it down, which I thank them for very much because I love that. Um, so Lumine Oxygen Recovery 72 Hour Hydrogel Mask. So this is 15 mils worth £4.90. Now the brand have 150 mils. I think it was that much on their website for £23, although that does sound quite a lot. Um, often though smaller is more expensive comparatively. So the brand says this provides ultimate non-stop hydration for dehydrated skin infused with replenishing organic Nordic birch sap, pure arctic spring water, plumping hyaluronic acid as well as hydrating Nordic bilberry water combined with oxygen recovery minerals. This ultra fresh gel mask helps to reveal healthy bouncy and plump looking skin. The cooling gel texture instantly refreshes and it's suitable for all skin types. So you can use this in a couple of ways. You can either do it as an instant mask. So with that, you apply a generous layer onto clean skin, leave on for 15 minutes and wipe off the excess mask. Following with your regular skincare routine and you can use it for two times, of, two to three times a week or whenever needed. Or you can use it as an overnight mask and you apply a thin layer as the final step in your skincare routine and leave on overnight. So that's what I did. I thought, well, I'll try it that way because that sounded like it would fit in nicely with the routine that I'm doing trying everything else. So I'll show you what it looks like first of all. It is a sort of blue, beautiful blue. I love that colour gel. Um, and this, well, I think actually the gel's clear, isn't it? It's the the bottom packaging that's blue that makes it look blue but there you go uh, so that's what the actual gel looks like and on my hand now it smells beautiful oh my gosh my gosh I love that smell if any of you have got this tell me what you think of the smell because that smell is beautiful I would love that as a perfume it's very summery though it's it's a very summery beachy lovely seaside sort of smell um so i like that anyway i tried it on last night now at first it did feel rather sticky so it, it sort of blends in nicely but then it sort of goes a bit sticky and i thought oh i don't like, i'm not sure i might end up wiping it off but i persevered after about 15 minutes um maybe less actually 10 it went less sticky and my skin felt very very smooth um and plump you know when you can feel it and it's lovely and so i thought well i'm gonna persevere and leave it on and i did watch a bit of telly in bed which that's you shouldn't do that really um but i did and after about an hour the stickiness had gone and it just did feel quite it felt very smooth almost a little bit tight actually but quite plumped so this morning when I woke up, I couldn't feel it on at all this morning. Some of those overnight masks, I don't like it when you wake up in the morning. You can kind of still feel them there. Um, but I didn't feel it there this morning. So presumably it's just soaked in and done its magic overnight. Um, but my skin did feel really nice. And after I washed it this morning, it felt really soft, plumped and smooth and lovely so I like this and I think that's probably the way that I will use it in future unless I get a really bad dry skin day then I might do it the other way where you use it as the 15 minute um, mask <coughs> sorry my throat's going right then by the way I didn't get Covid at all as far as I know I hope I didn't anyway um, no symptoms so that was good and my son is fine now just in case anyone did see my videos over Christmas and was wondering so the next item in here is by Style Dry 
and it's the coconut and fig hair mask so this is 50 mils and worth 11 pounds now it looks like you can get 100 mils of this for around 16 pound 95 from various online suppliers um but i couldn't see it very it wasn't there on the brand's website and also a lot of the online suppliers said they had only got a few left in stock so i'm not sure whether it's kind of an end of line product um so i've got a description here which says this super hair mask is enriched with coconut oil and muramura butter for healthy hydrated and glossier hair glossy hair it's the must-have hair mask to give you the ultimate treatment at home your hair will be moisturized silky and shiny as never before and to use you gently work the mask through your hair from root to tip and leave for 10 minutes before rinsing use one to time two times per week as needed so i've had to go with this this morning now it's quite it's a lovely smelling one very coconutty smelling as you would imagine i think i can get a figure actually as well um it's a little bit it's not quite as thick as i thought it would be it's more like a sort of conditioner texture um so i did use it this morning it smells nice i like coconut and i have got really really dry hair at the moment it's driving me mad um so after i'd used it i did feel like it still needed conditioner on which i put my conditioner on and it did feel a lot better then but it still feels quite dry unfortunately i've put some oil on as well um i don't know what it looks like to you but can you see it's almost like nylony texture um so i think i'm gonna have to do something a little bit more intense or I have got a product in another box coming up that I'm going to tr use, um, which I think has helped me in the past. So it's the toil box. I think there's a product in there. I'm saying that off the top of my head. I haven't actually looked at it yet. So anyway, I'm going off track. So <laughs> it's, it's a nice product to use. I think my hair is difficult at the moment. It has helped. I mean, it's not, oh, it does feel dry though still. And I've got oil on as well. So it's that time of year it always happens to me at this time of year it will improve i hope if anyone knows anything really good that i could use please let me know okay the next item is by brushworks and it's the scalp massage brush it's worth seven pounds 99 and it's available from various online suppliers who do quote that amount as the rrp and look fantastic say upgrade your hair washing routine with the brushworks massaging shampoo brush Designed to gently exfoliate and massage your scalp, this hair care tool stimulates healthy hair growth while controlling dandruff and excess oil buildup. With a sleek design that is easy to grip when wet, this brush can be used with your favourite shampoos or oils. You simply move the silicone bristles around in a circular motion and you're good to go. So I haven't used this. It's not really something that I would use. Um, that's what it looks like. So it's got this little easy to hold handle as they say which i guess you go like that like that see i don't like things like that on my scalp it, i'm a sensitive soul you know um so i don't like using things like that so i'll probably pass that on to someone else uh, that's probably why my hair is so dry i don't think so though um next you get a choice of two products so you could get the Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. This is eight mils and it's worth five pounds ninety nine. The brand sells fifteen mils for twelve pounds, and the Look Fantastic description seems partly to be for the BFF Balm, which is a different balm. Um, so I've got some information from the brand's website again, who say it's so gloriously rich. It's famous for its long lasting and instantly hydrating effect. This one hundred percent natural formula is so versatile, so safe. Any skin type can use it practically anywhere. Helps rebalance, hydrate, nourish, soothe, plump and even helps sit, heal all types of dry, sore, cracked, itchy or sensitive skin. Applied liberally, it's the most amazing, rich, long-lasting and glossy lip balm. Or you can get the one I got, which is the Lano Lips 101 Strawberry Ointment. This is 10 grams and worth £8.99. And the brand sells this size at that price on their website. And they say we took our iconic original 101 ointment and infused it with real strawberry fruit extract and vitamin E. 
Using ultra pure grade Aussie lanolin, our Cult Classic ointment offers a safer, more effective and 100% natural alternative to common petroleum based balms. It penetrates and seals in moisture to give extreme hydration for dry and chapped lips, skin patches, cuticles, elbows and more. You look fantastic, do mention that the way to use it could be to warm the ointment between fingers or you can apply it directly onto lips and skin used generously and it says keep low 25 degrees which here in the UK is very easy to do at the moment okay so I'll show you what it looks like and I have used it I've used it on my lips that's what it looks like in the package and that's the balm as you can see it's really thick and it does taste of strawberry look how thick that is wow um, it does taste of strawberry sort of um, I'm just going to pop a bit on my lips now I've got another I've got a lip gloss on but hmm. it does taste of strawberry although obviously there is a background of a taste to it but the strawberry is definitely there I used this last night overnight again see in winter i do suffer a lot with dry um dry hair dry lips dry skin my skin's okay though thankfully with the the products probably that i've used today um but yeah my lips are another area that i get a lot of dryness so i tend to wear a product overnight and i've tried a few lately i tried one oil that i had which was okay but not brilliant and then i've got a sort of a cream one um i think it's Oh, I can't remember who it's by but it's a CBD cream one that I did probably in one of the videos which I have been using but I find that in the morning it doesn't it's not there anymore whereas this one I put on last night because it is so thick um, that was still there in the morning so I think that's what this one's going to be used for so there you go that is the contents of the box I think it's a very very good box Particularly for this type of year, it's addressing the problems that a lot of people are going to suffer with and it's just a lovely box. So first of all, the molten and brown, I mean for me it is partly whether you like the fragrance or not isn't it, And but for me that fragrance is perfect, it smells gorgeous, it's refreshing, it kind of makes you think that you want the summer to come, you can imagine the summer to come. I mean I suffer terribly with that seasonally affective disorder, whatever it's sad in January and February I don't like I get really quite sad um, these videos are helping me actually so thank you uh, for watching them and giving me a reason to do them because they are helping me they're giving me something to do to take my mind off it but every January I suffer from this and it's it's awful it's you know when you don't want to get up in the morning um, I think it's the the dark days and and the short the long night short days anyway enough of that i like these videos to be uplifting and positive and to be honest this should be uplifting and positive because i'm feeling okay and this box has helped so yeah that makes me think of summer which is great and that does help me a lot then we have the um the hyaluronic serum which is really good i like this a lot so i'm happy to get that then we have this rather lovely um Lumine mask which I think did a very very good job and I'm really happy with it we had the conditioner the mask hair mask which I think under normal circumstances would be really good for me and I do love the smell of coconut and under normal circumstances masks do work on my hair like this one but I just think it needs I'm not quite sure as I say any suggestions gratefully accepted i'm not very good with hair never have been prefer makeup but hair is just not my thing uh, then we have the scalp thing which i'll keep putting on my head i'm going to have to pass that on to someone i know very well who won't mind um and finally i think was the lanolin lip balm which is a great product for me and my dry lips okay hope you like that unboxing it was a bit rambly i'm afraid get it this is how i'll be in january I'll, I'll be a bit all over the place but hopefully by february march definitely i'll be back on track 
hope you enjoyed the video i have got some other boxes arrived i've had toil arrive i think glossy box and um rocker box have come today so all my subscriptions have come in nice and early so i should be able to get those out in the next week or so um, and i have ordered one from latest in beauty which is the um trending i think it's called the trending beauty trending edit volume one it says so it looks like they'll be doing regular series of that which will be really good um obviously i haven't got my look incredible anymore which i'm a bit sad about but i i will be looking out for other limited edition boxes and one-offs and if you do see anything just let me know um and i'll have a look and see what it's like anyway sending you lots of positive vibes we need to be in this together take lots of care and i hope wherever you are you're happy you're healthy and 2023 is delivering what you need from it. Take lots of care. Bye-bye.